So today I'm doing a contest VR for Cases Loaded. Uh, he wants you to focus on the 600 home run club. Yes, with a six. Uh, he wants you to focus on the 600 home run club, show some cards of a player or I guess players uh, from the 600 home run club. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit different of a thing, or at least something that certainly no one else has done. Uh, I'm going to show you one card of each member of the 600 Home Run Club. And I'm going to frame this around a little bit of a... Um, what am I trying to say? Well, anyway, what I'm going to do is, in ascending order, I'm going to tell you, of all the members of the 600 Club, how many home runs... Uh, did that player hit uh, through his age 23 season? Uh, but J.P. Wisco, why through his age 23 season? Well, I'll get to that. Uh, so just uh, stick with me. So I'm going to start the list, uh, this 600 home run club list, uh, with the individual who had actually hit the least amount of home runs uh, through his age 23 season. And that is none other than Babe Ruth. This is a Leaf Metal Card Stadium Seat Relic. So maybe at, at sort of uh, first thought, it might be a little bit surprising that the Bambino uh, had only hit 20 home runs through his age 23 season. But then, of course, if you think about it, a little bit more, a couple seconds more, you realize, well, of course, you know, with Babe Ruth, he started as a pitcher for the Red Sox, uh, and it was still the dead ball era, and then, of course, it was Ruth himself who kind of ushered in the live ball era after he was traded to the Yankees. So, Babe Ruth, of all the members of the 600 home run club, uh, he had hit the least amount of home runs by through his age 23 season, uh, but he certainly made up for lost time, didn't he? All right, uh, so the next uh, individual is definitely the sort of least, I would go as far as to say the least famous or infamous, of course, considering some members of this list, uh, member of the 600 Home Run Club, which is, has got to be Jim Tomey, right? Jim Tomey, uh, 600 home run club, uh, by through by through his age 23 season, uh, Tomey had hit 30 homers. Uh, but he, you know, which is for one, he played and everything. That's actually it's pretty remarkable that he went on to hit over 600. Uh, but Tomey, yeah, I mean, he did play over a decade with the Indians. He played half his career in Cleveland, but. After that, he, I think he, you know, he became somewhat of a journeyman, uh, and that might have done something to hurt his legacy a little bit. Uh, but what can you say, Jim Tomey, 600 home run club, uh, and he had hit 30 uh, through age 23. So then next, uh, we've got Sammy Sosa. So Sammy Sosa, well, let me get up my list so I make sure that the numbers are accurate. Sammy Sosa had hit 37 home runs through his age 23 season. Of course, it's it's hard to talk about Sammy Sosa without bringing up PEDs. Of course, the way I look at it, uh, as somebody who has you know, I've personally made peace with the steroid era, uh, and we won't get into that, uh, but I also view Sammy Sosa uh, as a figure who was instrumental in actually saving baseball uh, because of his uh, electrifying home run chase with Mark McGuire, and obviously the, the specter of steroids hangs over that, but at the same time, you know, after the strike... I think you could say that baseball was kind of at an all-time low, uh, and then Sosa and McGuire, you know, started hitting ding-dongs, uh, and the rest is history. So, 
Unique feature to prob probably of my list is that I am also going to include both members of the Japanese 600 home run club. So there are two, the first member of the Japanese 600, uh, 600 home run club uh, is my man, Katsuya Nomura. Uh, Katsuya Nomura, I've said it before and I'll say it again. He is the best, the best player you've never heard of. Uh, Nomura hit over 600 home runs in the Japanese leagues. He is second all time in home runs uh, in Japan. And he is also second all time in hits. Uh, he has almost 3,000 hits. Uh, and, uh, or he might actually have 3,000 hits. Wow. He's my guy. And I don't remember that precisely. Um, no, he, he, uh, Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Point is, he's got a bunch of hits. He's number two all-time in hits. Uh, and he is number two all-time in home runs. Uh, almost, you know, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. He's not number one in either category. But I think that sentiment actually sort of characterizes Nomura and his career. Uh, Nomura, by the way, he was a catcher. <laughs> So Nomura might, maybe it's a hot take, uh, but Nomura might actually be the greatest Japanese baseball player in history. Uh, but he, he always felt when he was playing that he never really quite got the due that he deserved. Uh, and I think that's true uh, because he did not play for the Giants. Uh, or I, I would say if he played for the Yomiri Giants or even the Tigers, the Hanshin Tigers, he probably would have been a lot bigger uh, than he was in terms of stardom. But Katsuya Nomura, uh, Nomura had hit through his age 23 season uh, 58 home runs. So anyway, Katsuya Nomura, check him out, learn about him uh, if you don't know about him. Uh, and then next on the list, uh, with 65 home runs through his age 23 season, Willie Mays. Of course, Willie Mays almost certainly would have hit more than that, but his early career uh, was uh, interrupted by military service. So. so Willie Mays, 65 home runs through his age 23 season. Uh, and then next, we've got the one, the only, Barry Lamar Bonds. So, maybe a little surprising uh, to learn that Barry Bonds had only hit through his age uh, 23 season. Actually, exactly the same number as his godfather, Willie Mays, 65. So Bonds had hit 65 home runs through his age 23 season. Uh, a little bit shocking that it's that low, right? It's Barry freaking Bonds, right? Of course, uh, through his age 23 season, he was uh, still a still a skinny pirate, and you know was not you know chomping on the Flintstones chewables, as uh, Adam Vintage Sanctuary might say. All right, so then next, we've got Hank Aaron. Henry Aaron. Hank hit 110 home runs through his age 23 season. Of course, Aaron is second all-time in home runs or the true home run king, depending on how you feel about Bonds, right? So Hank Aaron, 110 home runs uh, through his age 23 season. And then next, we've got the newest member of the 700 Club, Albert Pujols. So Albert Pujols, Albert Pujols through his age 23 season hit 114, an impressive 114 home runs uh, just going into his age 24 season, right? So through age 23. 
And then, as I said, I'm including uh, Japanese members of the 600, the Japanese 600 Club. There are two members. Um, of course, number one all time in Japanese home runs, the, the international record holder as well, Sadaharu O. Oh, uh, oh, through his age 23 season, uh, had hit 115 home runs, one more than Pujols, through the same age. So. All right, and then let's see here. We're getting to the top of the list. Uh, so next up is Cases Loaded's all-time favorite player, the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. Griffey, uh, through his age 23 season, uh, he had hit 132 home runs, so very, very impressive. Um, okay, and then we're getting to the very, very tippy top of the list. So, this next individual uh, missed out on the 700 club uh, by just a hair. Alex Rodriguez, A-Rod, through age 23, uh, he had hit 148 home runs, which is nuts. Um, of course, A-Rod is actually, uh, A-Rod has the distinction of being the fastest slash youngest player to 300, uh, which he achieved through age 27. Um, I'll take that plastic off so you can see it a little better. So, A-Rod with 148. Okay, so why am I, why am I doing this, uh, through their age 23 season, what what is the significance uh, of that number? Well, there might not actually be any real significance to it. The, the reason I picked 23 uh, is because there is actually just a sort of a fun sort of food for thought. Uh, there is a young Japanese player uh, you might have heard of. Uh, his name is Munetaka Murakami. Uh, this is him. So, Munetaka Murakami, you might have seen him play in the WBC, uh, his clutch walk-off against Mexico, uh, and Murakami, uh, the reason I'm picking this number of 23 uh, is because Murakami has just finished his age 23 season. So, I want to tell you how many home runs... Uh, this guy has hit through his age 23 season. That number is 177 home runs uh, through his age 23 season, which is utterly bonkers, uh, in case you didn't know. But J.P. Wisco, who cares? It's just Japan. That's Mickey Mouse, bro. Who cares? Japan? If it's not the majors, who cares, right? Oh, but let me tell you why the fact that Murakami has done this in Japan is actually more impressive uh, than if he had put up this number in the majors. The reason is because in Japan, the game is not centered around power. The balls are undeniably deader. Uh, than Major League Balls. If I had a dollar for every time watching Japanese baseball that I saw a ball die at the warning track that would have been a no-doubt home run in the Major Leagues, I wouldn't be rich, uh, but I would have some spending money uh, for sure. So the balls are deader. Uh, the, the, the culture of the game is not one uh, that emphasizes power. Uh, coaches aren't out here, you know, telling training guys to be three true outcome guys or anything like that. So actually the fact that Munetaka Murakami, uh, has hit 177, uh, career home runs, uh, through only his age 23 season is pretty ludicrous. 
So uh, my point here is, I think, you know, Murakami, who will be coming to the major leagues in a couple years. Now, again, if you want to add the numbers up, which I would, because like I'm arguing, it's actually more impressive that he's hit these home runs in Japan at this point. Um, I think Murakami has a very, very good chance of entering not the 500 home run club, but the 600 home run club. Uh, I think this kid could really do it, uh, and I'm super excited to see him play in the major leagues eventually. Um, anyway, uh, that is my VR for Cases Loaded. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, just something to think about with uh, Murakami. So, as always, thanks for watching. Peace.